Hey guys, thanks for clicking on my video and welcome to my new series on how to DZ for Xbox One. What you're about to watch was all done on an official server and in this video I'm going to show you the crafting mechanics as well as what you can craft within DayZ. So without further delay, let's get into it. Crafting in DayZ is simply holding the primary object in your hand and looking at the secondary object on the floor. You will then see a recipe box pop up. Now holding down the right trigger, you will be able to craft the item that you need. You can also craft from your inventory by holding the primary object in your hand and highlighting the secondary object. Pressing the B button, you will be able to combine and craft the desired object. Let's start by crafting a stone knife. You can find small stones on train tracks or nature trails scattered all over the map. If you're struggling to find small stones, you can always mine large stones with a pickaxe or a sledgehammer. Now use the tool in your hands to split the large stones into smaller stones. You get three small stones from one large stone. Now combine two small stones to craft a stone knife. With a knife, craft yourself rags from clothes that you find throughout the map. Six rags makes a stack. Once you've crafted enough rags, combine two stacks of rags to craft a rope. You can restrain other players if you have to, other than just using it for crafting. From any bush or shrub, harvest yourself long and short sticks with any edged weapon. You can split long sticks into short sticks. You can harvest sticks with bare hands, but you most likely will cut your hands. I would not recommend this method. Using gloves mitigates this effect, but slowly wears down your gloves over time. With a rope and a long stick, you can craft a simple fishing rod. Now with a knife and bones, you can craft an improvised hook. Bones can be harvested from animals found throughout the map. Using a knife or a shovel, look at the ground. You will get an option to dig up an earthworm. With the earthworm, Combine it with the hook that you have crafted. Now holding your simple rod in your hands, attach the baited hook to the rod. Now find yourself a body of water and by looking at the water you will be prompted to fish. Now you have a sustainable source of food for your character. Now this item is one of my favorites to craft in the game. With a long stick and a stack of rags, you can craft a torch. You can soak the torch with fuel or upgrade it with animal fat. There is something majestic about running in the darkness with this torch. I highly recommend you give this a try. But be careful of what lurks in the dark. On the topic of fires, let's craft a simple fire. Grab a short stick and combine it with a rag. By attaching 8 large stones, you will be able to upgrade the fireplace into a stone circle. Now attach a campfire tripod to the circle.
and attach a cooking pot to the tripod. By adding 16 large stones, you can upgrade this fire into a stone oven. You can place three pots on this oven. To light a fire, use a knife and walk up to a tree to have a spark. Now with the bark, combine it with a short stick to craft a hand drill kit. With a hand drill kit in your hand, hold on the right trigger to ignite the fire. Just be careful as fires can be seen miles away. With a rope and a burlap sack, you will be able to craft a career bag. Now combine three sticks to craft a backpack. You get additional slots of storage space after doing this. The same can be achieved by combining a ball pelt, rope and three sticks. The only difference is visual between the both. Now let's go over the craftable weapons within the game. Starting off the stone knife, it's an average weapon, but it beats punching zombies with your hands. With a box of nails, combine them with a baseball bat to craft a nailed bat. I love the animation of this weapon as much as smacking a few zombies around. There are three guns on this list. Let's start off with my least favorite. With a hacksaw in your hand, you can saw off a BK-18. With a poor reload speed and mediocre sides. I suggest sticking with the next two on the list, but it does sound beastly. Second on the list is the Son of Mosin. It really packs a punch, one-tapping players or zombies. With better iron sights and reload speed, it outshines the BK-18. The last on the list is my favorite Son of version. I use this gun with bug shots over slug rounds, as they are more effective in clearing buildings. Let's craft an improvised suppressor. Combining duct tape with a water bottle, these suppressors only last a few rounds. This is for all the players who play in squads. With a rag and a sewing kit, you can craft a white armband. You can use a knife to cut up a raincoat for colored armbands. Now for the ghillie craftable items. With one fishing net and two burlap strips, you can craft a ghillie hood or a gun wrap. Now with the gun in your hand, attach the gun wrap onto the gun. With four burlap strips and two fish nets, you can craft a ghillie shrug.
when wearing any of the ghillie outfits, you will not be able to wear a backpack. With six burlap strips and three fishing nets, you can craft a ghillie cloak. To look and feel like a total pro, combine 10 burlap strips with 4 fishing nets. This will allow you to craft the famous ghillie suit that everyone is after. Now let's make a wooden box to store all our goodies we've crafted. With a wood saw or a hacksaw, find yourself a lumber pile. Now harvest yourself some wood planks. Grabbing some nails in your hand and looking at the wooden planks, you will be prompted to craft a wooden storage box. Now find yourself a sneaky hiding spot and place the wooden box on the ground. Now drag the items that you like to stash for later into the box. Grabbing a shovel and looking at the box, you will be able to bury it. It takes two weeks for buried items to despawn. Make sure to drop a like or a comment if you'd like to see more videos on how to daisy for Xbox One. And I'll catch you in the next one.